For Krima Media's Polity, I'm Sane Lamini. Joining me today is the National Freedom Party mayoral candidate for Abakulusi Municipality, Kabo Nene, to discuss the party's manifesto. Kabo, the NFP is promising that its ward councillors will be easily accessible in the communities that they will be serving. How will you ensure that happens? Yes, we are, I am going to ensure that we keep in touch with the community. We have records. We encourage the councillors to have the data recorded, showing how many times have they met their community members and how many times have they visited the area they stay in. We are going to make sure that each and every councillor stays around the community that uh, elected him to stay there. In your manifesto, you also promised to address the issue of nepotism, where people are hired because they are related to those in power. How will your party ensure that that doesn't happen? Yes, as the NFP, we are totally against nepotism. We have Mm -hmm. seen it a lot around our municipalities, people being employed according to their same name. We are going to make sure that each and every post is contested People are going to be employed according to their capacity, their skills. We will table the the criteria that is going to be used and we'll have an auditor who's going to audit each and every interview that has been done. That is this person not related to the panel? Is this person capable enough to do this job? And in an effort to combat uh, corruption now, Kabo, your party is planning to work closely with the Auditor General's office. You've also mentioned the public protector. Tell us about that plan. Yes, we have planned that as soon as we take over the municipality as the NFP, we are going to create the offices of the public uh, protector and the auditor general. In fact, it's going to be a satellite where people will be easy to access those offices because we're staying in Zululand. All the offices are away from us, are are in Pretoria. A person needs to go and report something, needs to travel a long distance. So we will zoom those offices, create them next to our people. We will have those specific offices for the people to access them send their complaints, be able to engage with the Office of the Public Protector, even though herself she's not available in that office. But mm. we make sure that they communicate. It, it, it happens easily so that people can be able to be protected and can be able to connect and access the Auditor General. And what would you say, Habo, to those who might say that your party, the NFP, does not have the experience that is enough to run a municipality. It's a big lie. As the NFP, we have run the big municipality, the Zululand district. Our mm-hmm. president, the late uh, Mrs. Zanele Magwazam Sidi, may her soul rest in peace. She's been running the, the Zululand district municipality and she ran it successfully. All over, whenever we go and do campaigns, a person can show you I have a tent. I have a business that is running. It was implemented by the late uh, president, uh, Zanele Ramakwazam C. So we are going to continue on that one. As an NFP, we do have an experience of running the municipality accordingly and without any corruption. Even even if you can check our record, there's not even a a single complaint of corruption from the NFP. And do you have a plan in place where you are going to contest for the upcoming elections to make sure that the youth is not left behind in your plans? Yes, we have a plan in such a way that we move even beyond uh, looking at the youth because you know that the youth is, is, is recognized as from 18 to 35 years. Then we had a worry of the 36 years old. Where do we take them to? So we have a plan also for those with 36 years because according to us, they are still young. Is that it is the constitution that has segregated them. According to the NFP, we have a plan for those people. We need to see them working, being employed, being permanent being recognized as people who are still capable of doing the job. We are going to accommodate 
young people and women. And your party also wishes to focus on the tourism sector uh, in an effort uh, to increase employment. What are your plans around this? Around the student district, especially in Freiheit, we have a lot of entertainment places and resorts, places to stay, but they are vandalized. We are going to revive them. There are places of entertainment with accommodation there. But because of uh, those people who've been running it uh, before, they took a less concern about that. We as the NFP are going to revive those places because people want to come here and visit and see the place. We have a lot of places to visit. We also have uh, game reserves. We also have elephants at Itala game reserves. We have the Nome, Nome, Nome area where a lot of things happened prior, a long time ago. We have a lot of places to visit. We are going to revive those places. We also have the Zululand Kingdom. The Zulu Kingdom is around our district. So people, they do have an interest of coming to Zululand and, and learn more about the Zulu, the Zulu Kingdom. We have a need to revive those places, those accommodations. As a result, the employment is increased. Job opportunities are created automatically. And what is your plan to make sure that the issue of housing is fast-tracked where you are planning to, to contest? You, you know, we, we are not going to focus on government's uh, funds only. We mm -hmm. are going to go out even to public uh, institutions and do fundraising so that we can assist those individuals that are really, really in need of houses. Yes, mm -hmm. we are going to use the, the government's plan to fast, uh, fast track this process, but also as National Freedom Party, since our former president, Mrs. Vizet Magwaz, has been uh, used to go all, all over outside countries to fundraise so that we can get more funds to fast track this process of housing because really people are suffering. That is why we say as NFP, we, we, we want to shun away from corruption. Whatever comes into our account, we're going to use it for the profit of the people. And then water, what is your plan about water? Our president has been the mayor of Zululand. She's mm -hmm. been prioritizing on, an, on installation of water around mm -hmm. these five municipalities. I mean, Freyhead, Dumbe, Pongolo, Olundi, and Nongoma. She's been doing this project of installing water around these communities. You may wonder that since she stopped, because she stopped uh, doing that project, a lot of people benefited from here. She was mm -hmm. the only one who was the champion of installing this water uh, system around the communities. Since she stopped, because she went to parliament, it mm -hmm. stopped there. We're going to continue there. We have already a plan of who is going to drive this process successfully mm. as she was doing it. So lastly, how can you convince uh, people who will be watching this interview to go out in numbers and vote for the NFP? I think as NFP, we have an advantage. I can tell you as, as we speak, whenever we go doing door-to-door, -door, people will come us in numbers. They say, you, are, you know what, NFP, you are our last hope. You are an alternative to us. We are tired of these uh, other parties. They have taken, they have run the municipalities. They promised us, us a lot of things, but they never did it. People are very much angry, as I, I can tell you now. The only solution is National Freedom Party because we didn't stop because we failed, but we stopped because of technicalities to run the municipalities. Remember the the incident, the scenario of 2016 where NFP didn't register at, at IEC. So we, we, we were taken out because of the technicalities, but not that we, we didn't deliver. So people now are welcoming NFP back because we have registered, we are going to vote, we, we, we registered, everything is in pipeline. People mm. are so happy. They are going to vote for NFP. We are not arrogant. We are still urging people to please vote for us. For now, we say they must do it for visit. Just do it for visit. She's late, but we are here 
to continue her legacy. When we go out, people are so happy. They say, now we have a hope. That was Kabonene in conversation with Polity about the NFP manifesto.